play. I mean, it could come down to the end here. Sammy Smith has been so smooth running in that top two position. But Ty Gibbs, 192 laps led tonight. But it all comes down to leading the last one, the most important one. Can you hold off Sammy Smith, his teammate? And Sammy's fighting for this E-Series championship. At this point, you know, he's just hoping to make it through this race and finish where he's at. And he'll have clinched the E-Series championship, which is a big deal for him. Sandy Smith, he's just having to hesitate just enough on the exit of the corner. It looks like he shoves the nose and can't quite go to the gas like Ty Gibbs can. And Ty just stretched it back out there when he needs to. Ty lost about a second going through that traffic. Now he's starting to stretch it out again. Yeah, check out this in car. And, and some of this is dirty air being behind that car, but right in the center of the corner here, you want to be progressively rolling to the throttle wide open. And he just can't get that done right now. Ty Gibbs. White flag is out. One lap to go. The season has certainly belonged to Ty Gibbs. I think tonight has too, Jamie. Unbelievable what he's been able to do. The number of laps led. Checker flag is in the air. Ty Gibbs wins at Bristol. His 10th win on the season. What an impressive run. I mean, pretty much led the entire race from green flag to checker flag. Executed every restart. Mark McFarlane winning a championship with Sammy Smith, and now the race with Ty Gibbs, and on their way to a championship as well. They can keep this up. A dream night for that crew chief and for that young man right there, Ty Gibbs. How about for the grandfather watching this? Ty Gibbs is earning his place in that 18 car. This is not being handed to him. It's not because he's Coach Gibbs' grandson. It's because he's out here winning 10 races already in the season. And piling up the bonus points, too, for the laps of lead, leading the most laps, the poles. There's your champion, Arkham Menards East, right there, Sammy Smith. Smith. Sammy Smith gets it done. The Gibbs driver as well has had a heck of a season. It's all he needed to do. You know, I love seeing the cup owners investing in these other series with development drivers and, and taking a shot on people. You know, obviously Coach was going to invest in his grandson, Ty, but to have Sammy Smith there driving for him as well, winning a championship, I mean, that's that's what they're looking for for their future, and, and hopefully we see these guys there doing donuts in the cup race one day. General Tire results on the bottom of your screen as we watch the 18 of Ty Gibbs, his signature burnout. It's gotten pretty darn good. Though. He's done more this year than any driver in any series. We've got the classic nose-to-nose -nose burnouts here, guys. Oh, Check this out. Nice. Race winner and champion. They didn't plan this. <laughs> they probably practiced it on our race. What are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. Kids these days. Exceptional job for Sammy Smith this season. The Toyota driver, three wins. 17 years old, comes to Bristol Motor Speedway. A lot of pressure on his shoulders, gets the job done. You wonder who's going to come along and take the place of the of the people like Kevin Harvick, and people maybe over 40 years old, and they may be looking to step aside in a few years. Well, I think, uh, I think that the youth movement is certainly alive and well here in NASCAR. Certainly is. The thing I like about Ty is the pressure does not seem to get to him. I mean, the more the eyes are on him, the more people have an expectation, the more he steps up to the plate and does it time and time again. It's really cool. How about the sportsmanship right there? Before even going and collecting his victory flag, goes over and congratulates Sammy Smith. And looked really excited for Sammy. Yes. That, that was neat to see. He's waving to the kids, and he's a kid himself. <laughs> Oh, gave it to that little girl. She'll never forget that moment. Well, let's now go down to the track with Kate Osborne. Ty Gibbs is doing the celebratory 10th time win in this season. Ty, congratulations. A moment with the team there for you. How did you stay focused all those 200 laps, knowing what you were battling with lap traffic and what Sammy was pushing pressure behind you? Yeah, you know, first of all, this is just awesome. This is, really means a lot, you know, to have all my guys there and, you know, to have my teammate and my close friend, you know, to get wrap up his championship. It's just awesome. Great night for our organization. We wouldn't be here without Toyota, Interstate, Monster Energy, um, the help from everybody. So this is just, this is just amazing. It's Bristol, it's iconic, you're taking a sword home, but you also have another race left this weekend. 
what did you learn tonight for Xfinity? I learned a lot. I feel like, you know, hopefully we have a good run, and hopefully, you know, my crew chief and my engineer put a, get a really great car, and I really got good faith in them. So, you know, first of all, I'd say overall this, thank you, the man above, and uh, this, is just, this is just amazing. Congratulations on the 10th time win at this season. And moving on over to the Arkham Art Series East Champion, Sammy Smith is all smiles here. Congratulations with ties happening. Sammy, you said this was the first championship that you really raced for. You told me that at the beginning of the season, or at the beginning of the day, and how special it would be. Yeah, it's a uh, good day. You know, uh, one, two forgives. Uh, I can't thank all the guys on the A team. 18 team in the 81 enough for uh, you know getting these just through these last couple races. I can't thank them all enough. Engine Ice, uh, Toyota, TRD, um, Mark, Jamie, everybody that's helped. My mom and dad, everybody just uh, really appreciate all the help. You had mentioned consistency was the key here this season. How did you see consistency here tonight? Yeah, you know we just had to uh, hang on. I felt like we were a little bit tight. We didn't have as best the car as tight is, so I just felt like you know we had a second place car and that's all I was going to be able to get out of it. So. I tried there at the end, just uh, just wasn't enough. Joe Gibbs Racing is going to be a whole lot of celebrations. Mark McFarland, Ty Gibbs, Sammy Smith with the Arkham Arts East Championship.